Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death, where we are following the adventures of Geoffrey Delors, a ranger in the Falkreath region, who is now trying to help Wildrun with a blessing of nature or trying to retrieve Nettlebane. And by doing so, hopefully we are reinstalling the nice little tree in the middle of it. We will need to go to Orphan Rock, uh, which is far off, but it's a new region that we haven't explored so far. If you look at the map, we still got plenty to explore, but we already explored uh, a few regions so that we're at 104 movement speed. Got our new bow. We used some time to uh, craft. As I mentioned, I wanted to look into elemental arrows that's exactly what it did so we have plenty of fire arrows and uh, some shock arrows for later if we ever going to run into constructs of sorts uh, that would be highly efficient to use shock arrows uh, we got silver arrows and more importantly we got silver arrows of fire nothing better than destroying undeads we fully loaded uh, froki's bow and uh, the spectral bow also as you can see upgraded them uh, since we can now smith them. Couldn't yet smith the ancient shroud uh, armor, but that's okay. Uh, we are still rocking around 600 armor class, which is more than fine. So, off we go. We're going to retrieve Nettlebane. See you right there. Alright, small plan change. Uh, we need some more food anyways, and I figured... You guys want uh, maybe want to see how well the new equipment is performing. So the Alakir women uh, is uh, in danger, or the Alakir woman in White Run. She's being looked uh, for by quite a few kind of uh, Alakir men, and really they are hiding in Swindlers Den, which makes for a uh, Nice little back to roots uh, bandit adventure. The last fight, though, is an interesting one. It can be quite tricky, specifically since you are going to be overrun by quite a few enemies. Look at that damage. I mean, yeah, we're fighting against bandits. Okay, but still. <laughs> Fast draw speed, I like that. Solid long range damage, I like that as well. My dog is blocking me. That's the only way of, of how I could die here. By a stupid body block or something like. Well, by thinking about it, the fireball might be a decent way of going as well. So let's not get too cocky. There is another firebolt.
Okay, so... Short of uh, the boss here. What the hell? Oh. Forgot the traps. Short of the boss here. We killed everyone. Uh, everyone. And then it's just the Alakir guys. Oh yeah, we do. Most certainly, we do. Um, for starters, let's do this and this. And whilst we're at it, stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. And you, I think we can all profit from the. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapon. Nice. Straightforward. Lots and lots of uh, hits and they were busy enough for a long period of time so that we could actually kill all of them. I like the frost resistance. I think we're going... We're going to keep a pair of boots. Yamato was the boss, so... Increased damage with ranged weapons by 21%. Immune to slow effects. He had a full set of really nice armor. Couple of remarkable potions. And the boss chest. Good. The flame metronach certainly uh, paid off nicely. I mean, the shrouded boots are still better overall, but again, having kind of a frost resistance backup makes a lot of sense. I'll store the rest. Um, and then we're going to do the actual quest. So that was a nice little gimmick in between. Hey, time to get Nettlebane. Nettlebane is going to be another mage encounter. But luckily for us, we have plenty of magic resistance, so we should be fine. Good, which is down. Which means only the hag is left. Time to kill the witch. <laughs> that other corpse just in front of her had saved her life. There we go, solid hit.
And Hagraven is done. There is Nettlebane. We'll take the Spellbane route. I like that. One of those daggers that if we were if we were to play kind of a dagger build, it's actually an excellent dagger. Shock resistance thirty percent. Well hello there. I think Ayla's shield has served us really well for a long period of time, but shock resistance is not to be underestimated and I can uh, could actually upgrade that reasonably well as for Nettlebane let's just take a look at uh, the weapon itself 118 yeah just a very fast uh, weapon that's a nice one. Okay, we're going to take the new shield and we'll hand in Nettlebane. I have traveled long, long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to My be your work. Burns. So, have you got a metal bane back from those? I two found metal bane for you. Oh, I. Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Now, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use metal bane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. All right. I travel alongside you. I promise not to get in the way. Sure. You're welcome. I thank you for your kindness. All right, let's try to do this. And I think in order to get the full blessing, we finally can reward those who perform great deeds in her name with additional stamina regeneration, which is exactly what we would be looking for that's why we're doing this here so let's see uh, if I need to do it uh, the right way and by the right way I mean there are two ways of doing this quest option number one is to simply use Nettlebane and cut through and get the seedling but you will need to fight a couple of spirits in order to do that. Way number two is to listen to his concerns here. And kind of do it in a nice friendly way. So oh, here we go, massive ginormous cave. And back there is uh, the large tree. Come to enjoy the sights and sounds 
Amazing. You are an elder gleam sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? And the tree is an elder gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. You mean this weapon? The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Speak. Good. We don't want to harm the tree. I'm trying the other way of doing the quest. And if my memory serves me well, There was another person other than Maurice here who also didn't want me to harm um, Elder Glean. Let me look up how the other way is done. Alright, I see you always need to use the weapon in order to get there. It was just a matter of extracting it uh, with nettle pain or not good Maurice should be coming up come on Maurice I had no idea you were a man of violence Exactly are your intentions I need to set uh, to fix Gilder Green. You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in Whiterun? That's abominable. Barbaric. I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Do you have a better idea? Yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. What do you have in mind? Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. All right. Well, that sounds like an awesome idea. And maybe we don't need to fight. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal. Not a slavish maintenance. Thanks. I believe I'll. Good luck on your travels. May Kinneret's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Alright. So, not a fighty fighty quest. I know that normally I was using the other option where you fight the spirits. Which is why I thought it would be a good quest for us uh, to set as a goal for tier one but that's fine we can uh, we can still use this as a milestone and maybe find another fighting quest we've done a couple of really decent um, decent fights so far specifically the last one was a good one But yeah, let me think about a proper milestone of how to conclude kind of uh, those diaries of death with a meaningful quote unquote end boss and uh, not just by finishing Elder Gleam Sanctuary. I was hoping we would have a bit more of, of a fight, but it is what it is. So let's plant the tree. Do you have the Elder Gleam I've got the sapling. But I 
can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Guild. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? Maurice said renewal is more important than maintenance. I, you're right, of course. Mm -hmm. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new Gilded Green that will tower over Whiterun. Thank you. Fantastic! Which means we also... Got the full stamina regeneration now because we have finished this quest. Very good. So, off for final battle. But before we go on, let's just increase our skills really quickly. Uh, we're still pushing evasion further. Very good. Didn't uh, lead to any level up as far as I'm concerned. Um, no, but we're fine. We're almost level 20 anyways. I'll look for a decent challenge and uh, then hopefully we can conclude this as successful run. Okay, so I've made up my mind in terms of what we would want to do. So for Geoffrey to pass his exam, uh, we are finishing a truly kind of mid-level quest. So for a tier 1 character, it's actually going to be relatively challenging. Uh, Goldur's uh, Legend, which is around level 20, is a fine level to do that. It's for Goldur's Armulet. Uh, we would need to do three dungeons in order to do that for a pretty decent amulet that uh, could... Uh, be an upgrade to our current amulet or at least a side grade we do have the firewalker we do have uh, the armor increase and we do have Foki's uh, gift still as an option which I currently don't have with me uh, long story short what we can or should do is three dungeons in a row the first of which is going to be right here uh, Fog and Thur where we are going to search for the first part of the amulet and let me shortly talk uh, you through kind of uh, the story behind it which is actually quite well written so Goldur uh, used to have three sons and uh, had like a pretty massive amulet and was an adventurer himself he unfortunately got killed I think um, exploring uh, one of the dwarven temples and before venturing onto that adventure uh, he had uh, parted uh, the amulet three ways to each of his sons but they really weren't getting so well along uh, with one another so at the end long uh, wind away uh, they all uh, got buried in different uh, tombs and now the amulet really is not reunited at all uh, each of the fragments is just like that a fragment of what it uh, is used to do uh, used to be but most certainly not the same quality of amulet as before Incre uh, each of the fragments increases uh, your stats for a, a bit so a little bit of health a little bit of uh, magicka and a little bit of stamina but all three together actually make up for a really good amulet so i think we're going to see draugr's here so silver arrows of fire is the name of uh, the game couple of traps nothing that we cannot handle
think one of the adventurers had the claw. Just need to find that one. And yeah, then uh, this place here will open. Exactly, I remember. Okay. With a couple of shouting groggers. Luckily, with the, uh, the quality of armor that we do have, they are not dealing as much damage to us anymore. Oh, really? Frost Artrenak. Oh, I should have loaded the shout. The arrows are working very well. Uh, the only mistake that I've done is our unrelenting force, which I wanted to use a bit uh, more often, wasn't as unrelentingly ready. Cool, so the explosive arrows definitely are working well. You know what? Might as well uh, continue with them. I actually like uh, the damage output. Perfect, that's where the Ivany um, floor is coming from. And now we finally know where to find the different uh, parts of the amulet. Okay, I distinctly remember that that one was highly trapped. Yes, 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 and back. Oh yeah, okay, yep. It was quite trapped. My mouse button again does not want to cooperate.
Okay, so far so good. How did that not hit? All right. For the small AOE damage or the fire arrows appears to make them a little bit less precise or it's just me being super sloppy with it. But I was under the impression that I was hitting the hitboxes but apparently I wasn't. Good, fantastic. Uh, if I was about to remember all of the pillars, that would be even better. I think it was Snake Whale Eagle. I think that's the right combination. So a couple of things, we want one of the, uh, those and those. Okay, we had Snake White Eagle, just like I mentioned. Okay. Well, my memory served me correct, uh, but it was just the wrong direction we want a couple of arrows against non-armor targets take on each of them one by one.
Very nice. Although we can't recover the arrows, the damage is fantastic. Steel sword, yeah, okay, nothing in particular. Good, this is where it is going to become a bit more difficult. Magic resist helps against shouts. He looks like he wants to shout. We just kill all of the drogers with him dying. <laughs> okay, a bit anti anticlimactic, but we got uh, Golder's Black Blade, uh, which is a nice enchantment, and even more important, uh, we got his. Um, his quality necklace. But all of these guys would have been a problem if we would have given him enough time to spawn them. Luckily we did not. The DPS of this build is through the roof. Major blocking isn't bad. The experience isn't bad either. And we're not using shouts, but it's nice to have a couple. Okay, so that was one out of uh, three. One down, two more to go.